Okay, guys, welcome. And I have some very special guests in the studio. I have Davey, right? That's your name? And then I have an even more special guest, um, all the way from Holland, from the, the Grime. I'm hoping, wrong. Yeah. I think I'm saying it wrong. I'm going to allow her the opportunity to tell you better. I have a, this awesome lady here. She's visiting all the way from Holland. We have been working so hard to make Silly Farm products available to you, more affordable, faster shipping in Holland. And this is the woman who is letting me, uh, or making it all possible. So please let them know how they can find your web shop and how they can find Silly Farm products in Holland and all over the world. So if you're in Europe, it makes it a lot easier so that you have an, a resource to be able to ship I know that shipping can get expensive so she makes it a lot easier for you so please tell them how, how to find you I am Dunya America and I live in Holland I own DA Grime and I have a web shop so you can order at the web shop and what is the web shop www.dagrime.nl and in Dutch, tell let them let them know in Dutch because we have a lot of Dutch viewers. Hi everybody in Holland, I miss you guys in Belgium too. I can't wait to get back to see you guys. I hope you have a great time at EFAB. I won't be there, but I will be back. So let them know uh, in Dutch how to, how oh. they can find you too. www.dagrim.nl all right, so thank you for joining us. So I have this handsome model in the studio, and he told me what he wanted. So we're gonna get started. So he is visiting from Holland and he said that he wanted a robot. So I, I don't think that I've ever done a robot for you guys. Well, to make it easy, I'm going to do half of his face for you. I'm also going to demonstrate how this Fab Silver is a really good metallic silver for those of you that are looking for a good metallic silver without having to go the powder route. Um, the powder is going to be your most opaque coverage, but this silver also does the trick because it's extremely metallic looking. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is just use the our brush to kind of build up a consistency with this silver um, and as you can see it builds up a really nice consistency and then we'll just lay down the base uh, for this design right over his eye and i'm just going to kind of paint in this area kind of like a i guess an oblong shape so that i get not the perfect set but we're going to go right over come down on the nose and I'm going to leave his eye open so as you can see this gives a really nice metallic coverage um, it makes it a lot easier to to just put down silver and it goes over other colors nicely which is a good thing as well so I'm going to bring it down right underneath his nose cover that all up and as you can see, it shines really nice, looks good like tin foil. And it's fun part about doing a robotic face is that it's a lot of free form. So it's kind of just a lot of building um, and a lot of creativity that's involved in it. So there's a few key places. Now, because I, I'm doing a half mask, then you'll want to start off by kind of outlining the edges. That's going to be able to help you with the overall shape. So I'm just going to go in and I'm going to give the edges an outline and going thicker and thinner in certain areas but overall you want your outline to be pretty consistent in terms of um, your black so I'm just tracing it right along the edge and you want to come up from the nose to keep that line consistent right inside of there now this is a good brush to drag blend with so if you're going to be doing any drag blending obviously this area is a little bit wet right now so I'm not going to want to go right in and drag blend it but you'll want to make sure that your brush is damp that it's not really dry um, and or it's not too too wet because what it'll end up doing is it's going to end up picking up the color versus um, actually drag blending it so I'm just kind of going along the edges to soften them out so I go right along where the black is just kind of soften them out. Now we can just start building right off. I'm going to start from the top of the jawline. And the good thing about monster designs or half face designs is that anywhere that you touch on the skin where there's a bone, 
that's a good place that you're going to bring out. And anywhere that's soft, like his cheek right inside there, that's where you're going to kind of deepen it. So wherever you want it to be deeper, that's where you're going to um, use a little bit more shading. So on top of the bone, I'll start there. And then I'm just going to kind of make a line coming in. And then right under here where you're going to shade this. So you can just start bringing it down with the side of your brush. And that's kind of giving it that drag blended effect too. So I'm going and I'm deepening in right inside of the softer area um, on his cheek. And then if you think about the softer areas, you're thinking about them right here too. So I'll bring that in and I'll just kind of do the same type of blending it in there as well. So now I'm just going to start building my line work right off of it. So from the top, I'm going to make these lines with my dots right at the end. So we're going to just be coming right off of the eye area and we'll highlight some of the black with white. So I'm just really creating my lines versus them being um, so methodical. So I'll just come out of here, build some more grid systems right inside of this. Build a few. Make a circle right inside of there. Connect it to another bigger circle. And there's no wrong or right way to do your robots. You're just building right off of them and having fun with them. Now, if you want to make it a little bit more menacing, then I'm going to bring up the nose, work right off of the top of the nose. And we're going to fill in some of these circles right here. All right, we're also going to darken the lips right in here because you want them to kind of disappear more than anything else. You don't want it to be um, your average lip. So just in bringing them down, connect it. Build another little area right off of it. Fill in these and start connecting the same way. So now I'm just going to pick up a little bit of my red and you want to get your red a little bit more on the side of uh, kind of liquefied more than anything else so that I can just kind of go around the edges by just kind of tapping it in there and you can only get this kind of flowy movement if your paint is really wet the drier that your paint is the harder it's going to be to get this kind of um, ease of brush flow so I'm just going to keep it coming down all around the edges almost like he's torn and when it gets a little dry you'll want to just make sure that it's a little bit wet you can always go in and use some of your red to kind of embellish any of these little features right inside of your robot to bring it all together to make any of those areas pop. Especially because the white can kind of fade out sometimes. So it always helps to have a color like red or the light blue to kind of just be there too. And I'll blend that one out a little bit. Okay, guys, I want to thank you guys for joining me and thank you for being my model. Thank you so much. I appreciate all you guys supporting me. Make sure that you check out DeGrime. Uh, they have a great selection of Silly Farm products, making it so much easier for us to bring our products to your home. So say bye. Bye. Uh, Dewey is thank you, right? Not Dewey. Bye. What, how do you say bye? Bye. bye. In, Dutch. in Dutch. Bye. Okay, I can't say that. But thank you. Thank you for joining me. Have a great day, guys.